creating a bunch of different perceptics, sensations, impressions, ideas, and so forth, both the gross and the subtle body. And then all this information is fed through a filter. The filter is your ontology. And according to the stories in your ontology, you assign different values to the different perceptics coming through the pipeline of the senses in the body. So to some experiences, you assign a high value, and to some experiences, nothing, zero, no value at all, uh, according to the importance granted them by your ontology. So your ontology is a collection of a million and one little stories. Birds fly, fish swim, dogs bark. That's an ontology. All those little facts that, quote, everyone knows, unquote. But does everyone really know the same facts about life? No. Some people have a very extensive spiritual ontology, a very large collection of stories about transcendental matters and others have none at all. And it's pretty certain that the person with no stories, no information about transcendental psychology, transcendental life, transcendental uh, activities, and so on, in their ontology, is going to have a very a dreary spiritual life, or practically none at all. And we meet people like this all the time, that have no idea that they are a spiritual entity. They think they're really convinced that they are their body. Now, why? Because their whole life, people have been calling them by their body's name. People have been addressing them according to the qualities of their bodies. And people have been uh, showing them expectations also based on the body. And because they have no other association no spiritual association, no one has ever treated them like a spiritual living entity. No one has ever treated them like a soul. No one has ever told them that they can have a personal relationship with God. No one has ever showed them how to change their consciousness. And so they go through life uh, under this uh, impression that they are the body, and nothing contradicts that, so it sticks. So this esoteric teaching is not for people like that. This esoteric teaching is for people who have heard that they are spiritual living entities, that they are conscious, that they are transcendental, that they have some potential that is beyond this body and mind and intelligence and false ego. So what do we then do to achieve this potential? We have to fill up our ontology with stories about spiritual life so that we can evaluate our spiritual experiences properly. Now, to do this, we have to select a source that we trust, and we have to select someone who we can associate with who can help us explore that source. So this is uh, the Vedic literatures, the source, the prime source, the greatest source, and the most pure source of spiritual information on this planet, and the lineage of master teachers coming down through thousands of years of time since the Vedas were written down on this planet, and they are the people that we want to associate with. Now you might say, well, how can I associate with a master teacher? Uh, you're over there in Mississippi, and I'm out here in, in Podunk, Illinois, or wherever I'm at. Uh, maybe you're even in a different country. No problem. Association means hearing. Association means uh, having a link, having a relationship. Okay, And the relationship in this case is a teacher-student relationship, so therefore... Uh, the student is accepting the teacher's association. Not that the uh, teacher has to accept the student's association necessarily. Uh, if the student has a question, well, we have an online forum where you can go and you can discuss your question with me or with the other students. And uh, if you have 
a uh, deeper need, we have all the original Vedic materials available in their original form. It only costs about 10 bucks, and you can get a uh, disc for your PC or Mac where you can run all of these literatures, read them on a the computer, search them, do research, and so on and so forth. So we'll be providing a framework for study because they're quite extensive, and we will guide you through this study, which begins with Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita, and the particular edition that we use, is called Bhagavad Gita as it is. And the Bhagavad Gita as it is begins from the point where we experience dejection. We experience that this material world is not all that it's cracked up to be. And we start looking for a solution. And the very first piece of information that is a part of the solution is that you are a conscious, spiritual, eternal, indestructible spirit soul. Huh? You are not this body. You are not created when the body is born, and you do, are not destroyed when the body dies. You are something apart from the body. You have a separate existence from the body. And then we begin to explore the conditions for experiencing your spiritual existence. And the rest of the Bhagavad Gita consists mainly of background information to help you experience that. So the Bhagavad Gita says, here is a mystery, your spiritual existence and your relationship with God. Well, what could that be? Well, first of all, we have to have some background information. So the Bhagavad Gita gives you that information. The mystery is not explained in Bhagavad Gita. It's only presented. The next step is the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam is a very extensive collection of stories about spiritual life. In other words, it's an ontology. So by reading Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, we begin to create a transcendental ontology. Simultaneously, uh, we should perform different spiritual activities, and that begins from chanting. You'll notice our theme music contains a mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Well, you should chant that mantra. Chant it every day using beads. Uh, you can get these beads from uh, many different sources online. Uh, we recommend Krishna Culture. They have a nice uh, assortment of different size beads, depending on your needs. And you can use these beads to count the number of mantras that you chant. That's the approved, ancient, traditional, and very effective way of doing this. So if you read these books and chant and hear our daily podcast and associate with our community on the uh, message forum on the esotericteaching.org site, then by this association, you will change your ontology. You will increase your ability to discern spiritual experiences. And you will ultimately regain consciousness of your perfect body. We hope you've enjoyed this edition of My Perfect Body. This is David Hughes, your host, reminding you to visit us on the web at esotericteaching.org, where you can purchase the complete Esoteric Teaching Introductory Seminar DVD and many CDs of transcendental music and mantras.